Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Um, so, in the last part, we made some bit of progress in Mount Moon. I'm just like becoming very much aware of the fact that this is part six, and we're we're only like halfway through Mount Moon at this stage. And these haven't even been short videos. These are only like um, these videos have been like about 20 minutes long. But the thing is, now that we have more Pokemon who are actually um, legitimately able to take care of themselves, that should limit the amount of switching in and out that we have to do. Now, as soon as I say that, Cat Denning starts taking a whooping from this goddamn Koi Poo here. But the thing is, what I what I want to happen is I'm hoping I can't re exactly remember what level Butterfree. Don't don't kill it! Oh, for God's sake! You just have to. Like, see, I can't remember what level Butterfree learns Confusion at, but that's what I'm waiting for. There are a couple of things that I'm waiting for that'll just blow this whole- crack this whole thing wide open. And one of them is for Beyonce to learn Poison Sting, so I can actually start poisoning things. And one of them is for Butterfree to learn Confusion. If Butterfree could learn Confusion, I'd be delighted, because then- then- then I'd actually be able to start taking things out quite quickly. Now to what extent am I actually going to be using Butterfree? That's something that I don't really know about because I did use it in the Pokemon Yellow LP. I'd actually be happy if I could use Butter if I could use Beedrill, but as we never caught Weedle, and I'm not gonna go back there and catch it now. But any bug Pokemon I can get around to using is a plus in my book. You guys know my obsession with the bug Pokemon. You guys know I'm addicted to the lotions. She's addicted to the lotion. She is, though. Like, when you see her and she, like, comes out and she's like, Did you bring the new lotions? And then, <laughs> what, what I'm talking about, for those of you who aren't in on the joke, is were the world mine? What else would I be talking about? But there's this part where... I'm surprised I don't actually... I'm actually surprised that I don't use, like, personal jokes and memes from were the world mine on a more regular basis in my LPs, because it's something that there are just so many little stupid, dumb jokes that I know, or that I associate with it, or whatever. And one of them is that part where your one comes out to the door, and Timothy's mom and that woman are there, like, selling their, their, their cosmetics, and your one says, like, Oh my god, did, did you bring the new lotions? And she's, like, she's completely, like, she's jonesing for those new lotions. And then every time that happens, I say, every time she comes on screen and says that, I say, she's addicted to the lotions. It's like, there are so many things that I say every time I see something in that film, but... It's time to go back and heal already, guys. See you in a... see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, here we are again. Can we actually manage to fight more than one trainer before having to go back and heal every ten seconds here? I I'd be very much obliged, game. <laughs> The game is just completely kicking my ass right now, I don't know. As I say, I don't I don't know, like, Cat Denning isn't going to be staying, like, now that we have it evolved and we have Metapod and, and Butterfree added to the Pokedex. Um, I can't say with any certainty that, um, Cat Denning is going to be staying in our party for very much longer. If I, as I say, if I could get it up to level 12 soon enough, so that actually, it can actually use Confusion, that'd be really, really useful, just to have access to a Psychic-type move this early in the game. I mean, oh my god. I might as well use, wa give Water Gun a, a little, some, some time to shine here. D that being said, we're going to be seeing Water Gun a lot, I'm pretty sure. See, it must be something, like, there must be some move. So I can't remember whether it learns, like, it must be soon, because the thing is, I'm pretty sure it learns Psybeam at, like, level 20 or something. Um, so it must be quite soon. You see, the thing is, if it, at the moment, the only Pokémon we have that can take out these ground and rock-type Pokémon is Bob Pataki. Because all of the rock and ground-type Pokémon, either they're ground and they have high defense, like Sandshrew, or else they're rock and ground, and you can't fight them with normal type attacks or flying type attacks. So if I actually knew another type, special type attack that wasn't normal type, then maybe another Pokemon other than Bob Pataki would be able to take out these guys, you know? But as is, 
as it as as is the case at the moment. At the moment, we just have to hope that and pray that Cat Denning learns confusion soon. Because it'll just make my life easier. Like, now that I think of it, I'm like, what am I going to do about about Misty? Like, geez, like, here I am, I'm not even... Th I, I'm thinking so much about leveling Pokémon up and catching Pokémon. I forgot about the fact that I'm actually going to have to beat Misty at some stage. Lieutenant Surge, for that matter. Like, at the as, as is the... Will you learn something, Cat Denning? Surprise me. No, apparently not. I'm pretty sure it has to learn something soon. It hasn't learned anything since it's evolved. Oh, there's something up there. <laughs> How useful. A Moonstone from Moonside. Um, and a Zubat also from Moonside, maybe. Um, but yeah, now, now that I think of it, we're gonna have to fight Misty quite soon. And I actually have no legitimate way of fighting water Pokémon at the moment. Like, no effective way. Like, no super official way of fighting water-type Pokémon. That was just the dog. There was a, See, that's what happened. There was a noise. This is still the recording session where all the doors in the house are open. Like, all the inside doors. And I can hear everything. And then the dog just moved. And just the very sound of its, um... Just the very sound of its, like little of its claws on the floor. Oh, well, here's a Pokemon we need to catch. Yay. Paris. Level 12. Holy shit. I didn't even know they could appear at level 12. I was waiting for some puny piece of piece of shit like level 6 Pokemon to appear here. <laughs> then it appears at level 12. Paris is actually a Pokemon that I really love a lot, like Paris and Parasect. Mostly because they're bugs and they're also mushrooms and they're just cute, I don't know. I just, I have a lot of play, I, I have a play, special place in my heart for Paris and Parasect here. And as well, don't you got like, who couldn't after, who, who wouldn't after seeing that, what is up with that dog it keeps moving around out there? Who couldn't have a special place in their heart for Paris and Parasect? What with that beautiful episode where, um, like, Paris got confidence, and where even Team Rocket and Meowth helped Paris get confidence. It's a really cute sprite as well, look at it. The mushroom Pokémon. Wh what is that? Sorry, I'm gonna have to go up and see what that, what's up with that dog. Okay, I'm back. I, I think all it was doing was, like, moving its bed, because what it does is, it has this mat, like this bed that it sleeps on, and like what it does is it pulls it over from under the stairs over to inside the window so it can sit in the sun and sunbathe. So that's what it was doing, was like pulling its bed over to sit in the sun. But apparently Paris burrows to suck on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. The bug host? The... 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 <laughs> I was going to say the cake boss at the moment, the cake host. Yes, I'll give... <laughs> uh, do I, can, I, do I, can I avoid calling it anything else other than the cake host now? Or maybe just Buddy. Like Buddy Velastro, because I'm Buddy and I'm the boss. I think Buddy is a cute name for Paris. Of course. Paris actually might be really useful, because doesn't Paris learn Stun Spore at quite an early level? Earlier than a lot of other Pokemon, which would actually be useful for catching other Pokemon. We use one Pokemon to catch another Pokemon. Who'd have thunk it? Here's Zubat. Actually, while we're down here, won't I want to catch Clefairy? <laughs> That's another Pokemon I'll want to catch. See, they're, they're like the two that are on my list for while I'm in here in Mount Moon. Now I have one of them, but Clefairy is quite rare, and catching it can be a bit of a bitch then at the best of times. This is actually, like, I'm actually enjoying this so much, like, like how many other times do you get the opportunity to actually, like, do this, like, get all 150 Pokémon from one of the original games. Like, I know I've LP'd, the, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use, go ahead and use a potion on Cat Dennings, just, so, Cat Dennings, sorry, Cat Denning singular. I'm gonna he go ahead and use a potion on it just to make it a bit more feasible to actually beat these clowns. Um, 
And what's going to send out? Eradicate. See, this is terrifying to me. A level 16 Eradicate? What am I supposed to do about this? Tackle. This this is going to like this could actually wipe my entire team out for what that for what that's worth. We keeps doing shit like that, especially. Bozar. See, I have no. What I would love to be able to do is poison this thing or paralyze it or something. Oh my god, I cannot stand up to this thing. I never thought that this would happen. Yeah, you do that, just tail, because whatever you do, even if you use tail whip, like, a million, like, even if you never use it, it's still going to kill me, no matter what attack you use next. Jeez. This is actually terrifying. I send up Beyonce? What I might do is I'll send up Beyonce, I'll do what I can, I have no... Sorry, Beyonce, but I have no... Oh, like, why does it know Hyper Fang? Oh my god, how did you hold on with 1 HP? I had no great confidence that it, that Beyonce would survive, but at least it could get in some damage. And what I'll do is I'll send in Buddy. And I'll use Buddy to use a potion on Bob Pataki. I think that's probably the most effective thing that we could do right now. So that at least Bob Pataki is at full health when we send it in. Buddy? I can't believe we just got Buddy. <laughs> Sticky body. Can't believe we just got body, the 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 K coast, and already it's dead. Thank you. Please just use that. Don't use hyper fang or I'll fucking go berserk. Yes, use that as well if you want. See, I'm pretty sure even one hyper fang will just kill it, especially after using tail whip. Oh my god, don't kill! I I can't even watch. Oh my god, I survived! Oh my god, we actually took that motherfucker out. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god, and we grew to level 16. <laughs> Whoa. Like, I, I don't remember this game being so difficult. Like, I don't remember the trainers being so taxing. But look, Bob Pataki, the Beeper King, is evolving. He's getting even... He's get, gonna get even chunkier. Look, now he looks even more like Big, big, big Bob Pataki. Just imagine when he's a Big Bob Blastoise, he's gonna look more like Big Bob Pataki than ever before. Okay, it's time to go back out and heal and come back again. Okay, here I am, back again. Harry's back to lose more, to nearly die, to come within a win to come within an inch of his life again. The now you can see why I wouldn't become the best rapper. That's like the best thing I can come up with. Still hoping to run- Oh my god, I was just gonna say I'm still hoping to run into Clefairy here, and here we go! Come on, Cat Denning. See, it's times like this where I'd love if, like, Buddy knew Stun Spore, because if Buddy knew Stun Spore, I could just be paralyzing these Pokémon, making them way easier to catch. Because I'm pretty sure, like, as far as, um... As far as, like, like conditions that make Pokemon easy to catch. Normally I go with, like, sleep is actually the most effective, but the thing is, like, for, for a Pokemon that's going to be quite difficult to catch, sleep, like, when you're going for, like, legendary birds or something like that, sleep isn't very usable because obviously it wears off and, and, and paralysis is generally something that you can get in right at the beginning and you can have it there all the time. And, and you can just have paralysis, like, wait, like um, making their catch rate a bit more forgiving, you know? So Stun Spore would actually be a major coup. I've no idea why my- oh, has it been using Growl all this time? Is that why my attack is so low? Yeah, it is. Well, that makes it easier, because I'll just- because I'll be able to whittle down its HP more gradually. Will I try and catch- oh my god, it killed me. Well done, Clefairy. Yeah, I'll use the next Pokemon. It's an Buzzar. I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that Buzzar is kind of falling behind in the levels race. We'll just actually try and catch it. We have three Pokeballs. I can always send in Buddy to whittle its HP down a bit more. But we caught it! Oh my god, Clefairy. I actually have a major love for Clefairy and Clefable. Just because. Clefairy's a fairy. Is it... <laughs> It's for my son. He's a fairy. Well, in a school play. Well, in, in real life as well, but... And then, like, your one is there, like, We do not want... Blah, 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 blah. And, then, and then she's like, I am going to quote a Bible at you. And I'm like, 
I think after going on that weird tirade, the only thing I can name it is Timothy. Oh, Timothy. Oh, Timothy. My name's Timothy, too. It's Timothy. Yeah, we can't call him Timmy now for, like, the whole LP. Because every time we call him Timmy, he's gonna be like, It's Timothy. And then I can say, My name's Timothy, too. <laughs> oh my god, do I seriously have to go back and heal again already? It's ridiculous. I'm just using the escape rope this stage. Like, do we even have any more Pokemon, like, trainers that we have to battle here? There's another Zubat. Zubat and Woo. There's actually is Woo Bat now, and there, there's Sir Swoop as well, for that matter. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the last tra- No, there- Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. Maybe Buzzar will be able to- <laughs> You revived him and sell them for cash. Maybe Buzzar will be able to gain a level here. Seeing as, as I say, Buzzar is losing the levels race at the moment. Well, now, now Timothy is in our party. Oh, Timothy will be able to, like, Buzzar isn't in last place anymore, but still, oh my god, like, why are these Pokemon doing so much damage to my, to my Spearow? Them doing shit like that isn't gonna help either. I think it's just, like, the fact that Peck, like, Peck is obviously extremely useful when all the Pokemon that they have are... Um, Caterpies and Metapods and Cocoon. Oh my god, why did that do so much damage? Let's get Buddy in here. Maybe Buddy can get the kill. The enemy's weak. Get him, Buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Buddy. Oh my god, don't tell me this is gonna kill. Oh my god, that actually did surprisingly little. I thought that was gonna do more. The thing is, like, Paris... Like, Paris's attack is actually quite good. I'm gonna switch out because he knows leech life and that's actually a bit threatening. I'm gonna see if Beyonce can hold her own here. Um, but like Paris's attack isn't- no I didn't mean to use Growl. I'm conscious of the fact that this video might be extremely long right now but the thing is I have so much to cut out because I have so much traveling to cut out. That's the thing that's gonna make it extremely difficult to actually know how long each video is is the fact that I have to cut out all this ridiculous going outside and healing, but I think Mount Moon is like the worst case scenario where that'll actually be happening, to be honest. Once we get a Pokemon that can learn Dig, that's not gonna be so much of an issue. Well, for, that's what, for what that's worth, I actually do have an escape rope. I, I'll probably use this this last time because it's gonna be the time when it's the most effective. It's super effective from what that's worth. Beyonce is just taking way too long to do this. Sorry, Beyonce, but you're just... You're just dragging your ass around. <laughs> dragging your ass. Like, Beyonce dragging her ass around the place. Oh, not this again. Sorry, I had to, like, look at my phone there. For a second, I hope you were highly entertained by what was going on on screen. Well, let's give like Bob Pataki his debut as a War Turtle, just to get this going a little bit more quickly here, because I actually wouldn't mind getting Mount Moon finished in this video to actually make some modicum of progress. Like the thing is, like I'm not one of those LPers that needs to get a lot done very quickly. Like I'm very much okay with this being. Like an 80 or 90 or 100 parish LP, if that's the way it goes. I prefer to concentrate on, like, giving the Pokémon the airtime they deserve. And training them and showing stuff off and stuff, rather than actually... I was just gonna say, do I even have to heal? But I kind of do. I kind of need Cat Dennings and Buzzar to be there, so let's just use the escape rope here. Cat Denning still hasn't learned confusion. That'll want to be coming soon, or you're gonna end up in the box. <laughs> You'll be in the chokey. Well, actually, what I at least what I can do now is on the way back in, I can use the um. On the way back in, I can use the repel. Seeing, see, I wasn't using. I was intentionally avoiding using the repel just because 
I wanted to run into- I wanted to give myself the chance to run into Paris and Clefairy, so... Um, now that I have run into those, do I even have a repel? I don't even have a repel, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll see you back there. Okay, we're back here, and we're actually ready to progress here in Mount Moon. Hey, stop! I found these fossils, they're both mine! Uh -huh. Keep in mind, we actually won't have to fight Team Rocket. Like, there, there are no Jesse and James in this game, which I have to keep reminding myself of. You see, this is the point where I'm wishing I had confusion. See, because if I had confusion, I'd actually be able to take this guy out lickety-split, as it is. I'm gonna be stuck here like a jackass. What did I... I just got a message. Someone commented. Oh my god, wait a second. Is somebody ready to have their comment read out live on air? You guys know I'm fond of doing this now and then, when the opportunity arises. Okay, well, this is a comment from... SGII Rules, and it is on... Um, my LP... Oh, it's on today's video, which is like the last... For, as far as I know, anyway, the last part of Hashable Boyfriend. I think Hashable Boyfriend has had about 50 last parts at this stage. But while we're doing nothing but t tackling this grimer here, SGII Rules says... If, if, I, I need to concentrate on what's happening on screen to a certain extent as well, though. OMG, thank you so much for playing this. I didn't know it existed until you played it. I always enjoyed watching your reactions to all the birds, and this just added icing to the cake. I still like the fact that you don't care for Ryota and love Sapia. I like that as well, I must say. <laughs> On another note, with you talking about how long you've been wanting to play Long Live the Queen, I say do it. I mean, you talked about it in episode 2 of Hashful Boyfriend, if I remember correctly. I'll be on the lookout for that Let's Play when you get around to it. Oh, so to respond to that, I'm not sure if you're going to watch this video, but I'm really glad that you enjoyed, um... Do you know what? I'm no, I don't think Cat Denning is going to survive, so I might as well just use it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be putting Cat Denning in the box, in the chokey! At, at any rate. So, <laughs> I'm not really too perturbed. Of, this, this is the battle I was thinking of when I was hoping to have confusion so I could take out that Grimer, but obviously I was just able to tackle it into submission. Um, um, just, I'm not sure if you're going to respond to, or if you're going to watch this video, because the Hatful Boyfriend viewers seem to be um, a group of viewers all to themselves. Okay, now let's use um, let's use Timothy actually. Give Timothy a little bit of a, a bit of screen time. He's so cute. Look at him. Timothy is so cute. Um. Even though he's not the cutest one in the actual film. Okay, could I finish like talking about this? Um, but but yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed Hashable Boyfriend so much. It's an LP that I really enjoyed doing as well. But um, as far as Long Live the Queen is concerned, I would to like I would totally love to. Um, and it's something I've said multiple times. I really would love to do it sometime. Okay, I'm gonna switch out to Bob Pataki because I'm not going to be using these physical attacks against this defensive Pokemon here. Um, the like, I've talked about doing a playthrough of Long Live the Queen so many times, and it's just never materialized. I'm not sure, like, to what extent I would LP it. I think what I'd do is maybe just do a couple of playthroughs just for fun. I don't think I'd ex LP it comprehensively, because there's just so much in that game, and I don't think that would be the goal. I think what I'd like to do is just do an LP of it, like, see how I get on, see what route it takes. And the good thing about Long Live the Queen is you can always kind of like save regularly and go back and change the decisions that you made going up along so that you can actually manage to make almost any run win or may take any path, so... But it's just, there's so much scope, like it's such a multifaceted game and there's so many options there, it's ridiculous. But yeah, we beat the super nerd. We'll each take one. No being greedy. You want the Helix Fossil? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we can only take one. And Omanyte and Omastar are my favourites. You guys know I love my fossil Pokémon. And my water Pokémon, so fossil water Pokémon. Um, how could it get any better? Let's just get out of here. We've been in Mount Moon for way too long as it is. 
At least there's no secret, super official battle against Team Rocket here before we get the chance to escape. Now, Bob Pataki is just going to have to stay poisoned for a little bit until we get to Cerulean City. Isn't there, like... Yeah, Great Ball. Just when you see, like, a little area like that all closed off with nothing in there, you just know there actually is something in there. Now, isn't the Mega Kick TM around here somewhere as well? It has to be, because isn't there that, um... Yeah, this is it, I'm sure. And actually, in, red, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, there's actually, um... Two move tutors up there that'll teach you Mega Kick and Mega Punch. So we can safely exit there because we actually got Clefairy in Paris. I'm so glad we actually ran into them that I didn't go have to go hunting for them. And we are finally finished with Mount Moon. I'm so sorry for the agonizingly slow progress, but Joe, you know, at least we had some fun times. We had some fat, like interesting battles and um we, we caught some interesting Pokemon, we actually had some, some evolutions as well on the way, talked about some fun stuff, so yeah, um, we're going to heal up in the next part where we've got some work ahead of us. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to keep Cat Denning out, I think I have enough Pokemon as it is, I might as well just put Cat Denning into the computer now. You didn't learn Confusion fast enough. No, not my PC. I wanted to access someone's PC. Um, we're going to deposit Cat Den in. Because the thing is, like, I wanted confusion, but I pretty much only wanted it for that one battle to make it more easy, so whatever. If you're not going to pull your weight now, Cat Denning, then you're, there's too much competition in this LP with 150 I'm born to see. To make, be a Pokemon master is my destiny. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this. We finally got it out of Mount Moon. Sorry if this video was long. I don't know how long it was because there's so much to cut out. All I know is my recording's up to two hours for all of these videos I've been recording, so thanks for watching. See you next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Bye now.